English is the global language of business. So if you want to work for a global company or advance your career internationally, you have to be able to speak it well. So in this video, I'm going to give you five habits that are going to help you to become fluent in business English. If you don't already know me, I'm Maria. I've spent my entire career in marketing. I've lived all over the world working for global companies. I've learned four languages. So I really wanted to make this video today because the things that I'm going to share with you are things that I've done myself in learning languages. So they're things that have worked really well for me and I know they're gonna help you. All right, let's get into it. First, get into the habit of reading business news in English. And that's because it's gonna help you build your business vocabulary. So you'll get new words, expressions, phrases that are used in the English speaking business environment. And news articles are often well-written with correct grammar. So when you read, you can actually see how the sentences are constructed. That'll help you improve your grammar and avoid common mistakes. And as an added bonus, reading business news will help you to stay better informed about your industry and just about important developments that are going on in the world. And of course, that knowledge is going to help you to do your job even better. Now, try to read every day, even if it's just for a short amount of time. One article a day is better than reading two hours once a week. For advanced English, I'd recommend the New York Times. If you're feeling like a big challenge, try The Economist. For a more intermediate level, uh, check out CNN. But I don't want you just to read. I want you to read these articles out loud. Because when you read out loud, you're training yourself to produce the language. It's more active. Your mouth is actually getting used to making the sounds, producing the words. You're exercising your vocal organs, your lips, your tongue. I think this was probably the most powerful habit that I took on. I've done this with German, Dutch, French. Right now I'm working on Spanish. So I read a lot of Spanish news out loud. And I find it just really helps you to feel more free and confident and comfortable when you're speaking. It really reduces the hesitation. Now, a huge part of developing fluency in a language is being able to understand other people, but it's always a challenge to understand fast talking native speakers. So listening is something that you really have to practice. A great way to practice this is with Ted talks, and that's because they include transcripts. So you can actually see the words as the speaker is saying them go to the TED website and pick a topic that's interesting. Make it fun, make it enjoyable. As you play the video, listen carefully to what the person is saying and follow along with the text. When you hear something that you don't understand, pause the video and replay it. I also recommend looking the word up online so that you know the meaning and the context that it's used in. Doing this is going to help you train your ear so that you get used to the patterns of spoken English. And the more you listen, the easier it becomes. You'll start to really pick up on English pronunciation, word stress, how we join words together, connect words. All right, guys, if you're finding this video helpful so far, let me know by hitting the like button. Okay, this is more of a fun one. So we all know the advice that you have to watch English TV shows and movies, of course, but I want you to be a little more specific. I want you to watch shows that are set in a business environment. My new favorite show is Succession. I'd recommend that one, The Office, Undercover Boss, Suits, Shark Tank, Silicon Valley is another one that I love. And doing this is gonna help you understand how native speakers communicate and interact with each other at work. You'll also learn some very important cultural nuances and some industry lingo as well. And if you wanna take it up a notch, you can do something called the shadowing technique. So play the show and after every sentence you hear, hit pause and repeat what you heard exactly as the person said it. So imitate them. Listen to how they're pronouncing the words, the melody that they're using, where they put the stress. So the shadowing technique will really help you with your rhythm, your intonation, and your English pronunciation. The research is clear. 
Feedback has a powerful impact on learning. So as you're doing all of these things that we've been talking about, make sure that you're getting regular feedback on your English from other people. We all learn faster and more effectively when we know what we're doing well and where we need to improve. So you can ask a friend, a teacher, a colleague, a mentor. Now this is something I did all the time when I was working in Amsterdam and I was learning Dutch. I would just say to my colleagues, you know, hey, was, was my point in that last meeting clear? Or could you take a look at this email to make sure there's no big grammar errors before I send it? If you want feedback from me, I help people with this every day. I tell you exactly what your problem areas are and what you need to do to get your English to the right level. You can visit my website and check out my private sessions. I hope you found this video helpful. I encourage you to check out this video right here for some more essential business English vocabulary. As always, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in this video next.